Hey YouTube, it's good to see you back again. We are happy to see all of our subscribers joining us again. Thank you for joining our community. It's starting to grow and we're very happy that you're with us as we learn about investing together. So thank you to our new subscribers and to the rest of you, please like and share and please comment down below how, what you think we're doing right, what you'd like to see changed. Or if you don't agree, please let us know how we're doing. We appreciate you all. So welcome to Brad's Bread and Butter. It's uh, another day today. And today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We're going to talk about debt. Oh, <laughs> and I'm going to give you my personal story a little bit because, um, you know, I, one of the things we're trying to do on this channel is to help people grow together. That's what we're trying to do. So remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have a license. But if you can learn from some of the stuff that we're doing here, this is for entertainment only. And please do your own research before you invest. But I want to share you with, about, with you about this word called debt. And I am 60 years old and I wasted a good part of my life because I didn't understand the debt. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today. So if you see a big sale for sale sign right now for Christmas and it says, hey, you can save 25% off on a thousand dollars if you buy today, you only have to pay $750. Guess what? If you open your bank account, you're not going to see the plus two, 250 you're going to see the minus 750. And so that's what we want to talk about today, that you actually didn't save. You saved 250 if you would have bought at a certain time, but really you spent $750. And so that's what I want to talk a little bit about you. So debt, but debt, D-E-B-T, don't ever buy things on credit. D-E-B-T. Get it? Debt? Yeah. So I made this mistake big time and I'm going to share a little bit about with you that. Uh, I had a really great job. I was a pilot making good money in my first airline job, but I had this little thing of called keep up with the Joneses. Have you ever had that before? I wanted to drive a shiny new car. I took out a big loan and bought a big new car and I was very happy in my car, but it was costing me a fortune. And I almost paid double for that car on interest payments than what I paid for that car. And then, you know, um, I always wanted to have this farm. And so we bought a farm and we went into big time debt for that farm. And it almost broke up our marriage because my wife and I were both working two jobs to try and hang on to that farm. But fortunately, common sense hit us. And as we neared uh, age 45 and 50, we went, what are we doing? Well, we didn't go bankrupt, but we came very close. And it took about another 10 to 12 years for us to dig ourselves out of that hole. And so I kind of want to give you a little story here. Imagine that you are going on a picnic with your family and there's a nice picnic table there. You sit down, you get your, your food out on the table and you're just sitting down to eat. But unbeknownst to you, there's a little kid with a remote control airplane sitting back in the bushes and they're watching you and they launch their, your, their little airplane and you're sitting at the table and all of a sudden this airplane comes zzz, right down towards you and I duck and I miss the airplane and I go, what's going on? And then I grab my baseball bat and I whack that airplane as it comes back to me and it falls down on the ground. And I think, good, we finished that little problem. But those kids had two airplanes. And now this kid's back there in the bushes hiding and he's sending over another airplane. And I'm going like, little duck again. You see, here's the problem. I'm treating the symptom, not the root of the problem. The root of the problem is the kid having a lot of fun over there watching me try and swing and hit this thing. The airplane is not my problem. The problem is the kid back running the bush. And that's how debt is. 
And that's why I want you to think about it today with me a little bit. So um, when you go into debt to buy stuff, you're actually um, taking away your buying power. And the way I like to describe that is when you're running away from your debt, once you get this big debt, you're running away from it. And that's what we talked a little bit before about imagination is the beginning of creation and also about time and all that stuff. When you're going towards your goals, you're running towards your financial goals rather than running away from debt. And so, you know, one of the cool things for me as a father is I've watched as my kids have learned, hey, we don't want to be like mom and dad and always be paying debt and couldn't take good holidays with the kids and stuff. We had great times with our kids, but because we were so far in debt, we had to be very careful about how we spent our pennies. And it took us 10 to 12 years to climb out of that. And we are now debt free. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, after all these years. But as I told you in my one of my first videos, I'm still not ready to retire, even though I'm at 60. And so that's why I want to say thanks for joining our community, because as we try and do this together, I want to share some personal stories with you about what not to do and maybe about what to do. And so that's what we're talking about today. So what does that mean for you? Well, I'm watching my kids today and they're very good with their money. They don't spend it if they don't have it. And they're not buying big brand new cars unless they can afford it and they pay cash. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. You can take a loan out, but there's good debt and there's bad debt. I watched my son-in-law. He uses his debt to invest. He doesn't use it to buy shiny cars and big farms and pretty horses and et cetera, et cetera, whatever your thing is. All right. So what does that mean for you today? Well, we've opened our Wealth Simple account. And I want you to think of that as running towards your financial success. Now, when we were struggling after we just about lost that farm, um, we sold it just before and we moved into an apartment and we lived very meagerly for a while to get caught back up, even though I was making really good money. But what I want you to do is like with your well simple account, I want you to put in there what you can, maybe $10, maybe $100. But as you start realizing, as you save, it actually gets addictive. And that's kind of where we're at now. I'm putting money in crypto, putting money in stocks, working on my TFSA, working on my RSP account, so that maybe in the last five or 10 years that I still got to work, we actually will have a pretty good retirement. Because remember what we said, you chase money, it doesn't really work. But if you chase your financial goals, that's where the power is. And so I want to encourage you to use the link below for the Wealth Simple account. And if you haven't done that yet, you get two free stocks, don't forget. And then you can start putting money in there. We have fractional trading. Remember, we can do crypto. If you got to listen to our video on uh, Bitcoin City, there's some cool things happening in there. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today is be careful with your debt and don't do like Brad. OK, uh, we, we've turned it around and we're doing OK now, but it costs us a lot of years that we could have really been doing well. And so learn from me, learn with me and let's take this bad debt, D-E-B-T, OK, and let's turn it around. So thanks, YouTube. Keep it in the green. Nice to have you with us again today and we'll look forward to some more videos.